If you are someone who does not type quickly and accurately, you might find the dictation function built into macOS very useful. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how you enable dictation on macOS and then demonstrate how to use it. However, before we start, we need to point out that while the dictation software built into macOS is very accurate, it is also very limited in what it can do. So while its functionality can be improved, if we were to enable something called voice control, as voice control is a separate accessibility feature within macOS, for this video, we will only be looking at dictation. If from our desktop, we open system preferences, and then locate and select keyboard, within the keyboard panel, we will be shown a number of tabs. As you can see, the last tab listed is dictation. So let's select that option. As dictation is disabled by default, let's switch it on. We're now asked to confirm that we wish to enable dictation, as what we're about to say to our computer will be sent to Apple so that it can be converted into text. Let's select Enable Dictation. Next, if we want, we can add different languages and dialects that the dictation software will understand. Finally, we can create a keyboard shortcut that will allow us to enable dictation whenever we want to use it. For this example, we've decided to use the FN button, but you can choose to use any button that you like. After closing system preferences, we're now ready to try and dictate some text. While we should be able to use dictation within any application of our choosing, let's use Apple Pages. Now in order for our computer to start to listen for our dictation, we can either select edit from our menu and then choose start dictation, or we can double tap the shortcut key that we set in the dictation preference panel. This means that we will always know when our computer is listening for our dictation because we will see a microphone icon. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. When we finish dictating, we can either press return on our keyboard or press our shortcut dictation key once. If you intend to dictate paragraphs, you need to instruct your computer as to when to insert the paragraph. So for example, if we say, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, new line. When we stop the dictation software, our cursor is dropped down to the next line. If we say, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, new paragraph. When we stop the dictation software, our cursor starts at the beginning of a new paragraph. While Apple have listed a number of secondary commands that can be used while dictating, the following are the only commands that would work for us. All caps, hello. No caps, hello. At sign. Pound sign. Dollar sign. Minus sign. Plus sign. Hash sign. Yen sign. Euro sign. Degree sign. Cent sign. Copyright sign. Ampersand. Tilde. Back quote. End quote. Single quote. End single quote. Open square bracket. Close square bracket. Underscore hello. M dash. Dash. 
exclamation point question mark inverted question mark open bracket close bracket open quote close quote colon semicolon smiley face frowny face winky face finally one feature missing from dictation is the ability to dictate the deletion of a word, sentence or paragraph. While this functionality can be enabled if we were to set up the accessibility function called voice control, as voice control will permanently leave the microphone icon on our desktop and have our computer listen for voice commands, you may decide not to enable voice control.